He said, Mr. A, I'm not smart. Now I'm pissed. Not at him, but for whatever teacher in his past deduced from his not up to par arithmetics and linguistics made him an ignoramus. And such a heinous act is too often overlooked by these crooks stealing dreams from those who didn't even know dreams existed. They should hang from the gallows. Midsection split open so that their bowels and intestines can cool the scorching pavement of life, which they've ill prepared these students to walk with no shoes and no socks. They say those who can't do teach. And those who can't teach unfortunately do so anyway, standing in front of these wide-eyed gals and guys whose potential is sometimes only contiguous with whatever expectations you have for them. And if it's nothing, well then nothing breeds nothing. And you think nothing of it, no lament, your content will allow them to progress unprepared through the system structured against them. More than 30% of the one in 10 men that drop out of high school in DC and end up in a juvenile detention or prison are black. And this breeds justification to vote for legislation to build places of incarceration based solely on retention rates. And what resonates through my mind is that aforementioned statement which caused me to cringe to repeat. So how about you take a seat and you learn a lesson. This is not a job, career, or profession. This is a vocation designed by the divine to place individuals in education. So if your only motivation is for winter and summer vacation, kill yourself. Or how about euthanasia? Give up your life for the one that you've taken. Because if you're not placing these youngers on your shoulders in order to reach greater heights, tapping into potential they don't see within themselves, opening up their eyes and minds, expanding their horizons, then why the heck are you in front of the class? Stop trying to teach America. Run back to your nine to five, crunching numbers, typing memos, punching clocks, and stop feeding these kids with what they do not need. Apathy, devouring apples and underdeveloped souls solely so you can reach happy hour before the business suits. Because these little... Mm, we'll drive you to drink, but don't think I'm not waking up every morning smiling because I'm striving to develop more than just minds. Because the bruises on Sean's back that his dad left, and the emotional ones that he left when he left to him are much more important than these problems on his chalkboard. And the fact that Nina didn't eat breakfast today, or dinner yesterday, or breakfast yesterday, means that she's more preoccupied with her reduced free lunch, Salisbury steak, her favorite mashed potatoes, green beans, and she gonna get two chocolate melts because Nina know that Jimmy been trying to holler her for a minute so it was smile, little flirt, and it's like clockwork, but little does Jimmy know that Nina talking to Tyrone, so she ratchet, and he go, but I regress, because not all situations are this tragic, but we as educators need to get out of the habit of thinking this thing is nothing more than proficient standardized test scores, because Sean could give a dang about Columbus, and Nina looks at me crazy when I ask her what's a rumbus. Good thing I'm not solely focused on signs and cosigns I'm about self-efficacy, equity on top of stimulating minds and to my students you are more than your four and five foul letter words Nicki Minaj mimics bipolar attitudes soap opera dramas and sagging pants and I will prove to you and you will in turn prove to the world you are more than your present circumstance and though hashtag I know it's trendy to follow I will build you into role models and future leaders of tomorrow by being a positive role model a surrogate parent a chauffeur, a bank teller, a pastor, a priest, and whatever other profession that you need for me to be. And when you grow up, remember all these teachers, counselors, principals that did all of this. Get your education, become prosperous, get into politics, start voting, that teachers start getting paid more for doing all of this. And though I joke, the plight of our educational system, especially for our young black boys and girls in America, is nothing funny. So shout out to all my teachers not doing it strictly for the money. Yeah.